So, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of AJ Styles of Korean Road. And right now, um, I know I took a lot of time, a lot of time, uh, two weeks or three weeks since I haven't uploaded any uh, episode of this series. But now I have a lot of time, I might be recording every day, I might be uploading every day, I might be, I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm on summer vacations and told that in the previous video and I took a lot of time there's another reason for that and that is that um, I was making a channel banner a logo that means and you might be seeing it somewhere on the top corner and I think it's pretty good pretty good for me works well so without further ado let's get straight into it so let's go Shane McMahon is coming out Monday Night Raw Monday Night Raw Finn Balor has done it He's going to face AJ Styles at Hell in a Cell for the Intercontinental title in a Hell in a Cell match. Last week, we saw what both of them can do. That is why, for all of you here tonight, I have decided that AJ Styles will face Finn Balor again in tonight's main event. Okay, that's good. That's good. Oh, okay, so we're just going straight to the main event, and I just skipped all the part. We're going straight towards the main event. Finn Balor is coming out. Hmm. So Balor is like has defeated AJ Styles before. He uh, faced off against AJ Styles for the first time. Um, the previous week, and he he did a pretty good job, I think, because he defeated AJ Styles, and he earned himself the title spot, the championship opportunity, the in the opportunity to face AJ Styles for the Intercontinental Championship. I think it's pretty good. It's a pretty good achievement facing AJ Styles for the first time, defeating him, and then even making a threat to his own championship. So, by far, Bellow has been pretty good. Um, they're having a match once again, and let's see what both of them can do. Will it be the same result? Can Balor defeat AJ Styles twice in a row? Can he defeat him for the second consecutive time? Or will AJ Styles... Was AJ, or was AJ Styles was just toying around, either was just toying around with Balor, or he was... He has some homework done. Let's see. Has AJ Styles is AJ Styles prepared for this match? Because if he loses the second for the second consecutive time, it'll be a really big disgrace. I can say really big insult. It'll be like Balor would be like mocking him around, and it would also mean that it is. It would also mean that it is a threat to his own championship. A, a big threat because. He is the Intercontinental Champion right now. Oh wait, he's not coming with his championship today. Why? But why? I oh, don't know. Let's see. So, Balor has been in top form. That's what I'm saying. So if AJ Styles loses for the second time, it'll be a disgrace. It'll be like, not a disgrace. It'll be like, Balor mocking him. It'll be, he'll, he'll feel insulted. And he should be, because he will be. And um, it'll be an insult. It'll be mocking this. It'll be like Balor mocking uh, AJ Styles. And here we go. They've started the match. And oh wait, no chain wrestling. Okay. Oh hey, better. That's what I'm talking about. Finn Balor is the king. Oh my God. Look at AJ Styles and Finn Balor. Both of them. The starting of the match has been pretty aggressive and pretty good. And without a chain wrestling competition, it looks pretty good. I really don't like the chain wrestling combination, but I just feel I just I just want to do it whenever I play a game against anyone. I just uh, want to do it because it's like a tradition in the WWE. Whenever you start a match, for the most of the times, you get engaged in uh, these kind of uh, chain wrestling competitions, but until and unless if you're facing uh, someone really giant like Big Show, Mark Henry, some giant or. Um, two giants are facing each other, or two, um, two completely aggressive people are facing each other, like 
Goldberg and Brock Lesnar, that's what happened. They didn't do any chamber thing, they just started off a match with a bang. I really didn't like the match, uh, Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 33. I know it was aggressive, it was short. That's not how you, uh, you know, the one thing, due to the fact that the match was so short, that that's why I didn't like it, due to the fact that it was, it was so short. And it was like five minutes, less than, little less than five minutes, it was like four uh, minutes, 40 something seconds. So, but overall it was a good match. I mean, I didn't like it though, just because it was short. But if you, if you look at, at, at the other perspective, if you look at that match at a different perspective, you'll see that Overall, it was good because they started off without a um, chain wrestling, um, and you know it was so aggressive, just the way it wanted to be. But I was just hoping if that match could have been extended a lot, like four times. I, I, I wished if the match could have been so aggressive and went on to like 20 minutes or something. It it, it, it would have been beautiful. So I feel it was not so good just because of it. It was short. So. Forget about it, let's concentrate on this match right now, AJ Styles, Finn Balor, and, oh wait, why did I do this? Why did I do this? Why did I, okay, we're back, we're back. AJ Styles doing a pretty good job right now, he, so this match, right now it's aggressive, it's long, it's good, because sometimes in this match, uh, sometimes, in this match, sometimes AJ Styles is in uh, the position, or uh, sometimes Finn Balor is in the possession, sometimes AJ Styles has the control over the match, sometimes Finn Balor does. So, you, these kind of matches are pretty unpredictable and that's what we like. Let's see what will happen to AJ Styles, will he win? And if he loses for the second consecutive time, if he loses two, twice in a row against the same opponent, Finn Balor might just prove that he doesn't need a title shot. He just won the championship already. But he's also AJ Styles. He's also AJ Styles. He's facing AJ Styles. And AJ Styles is showing it right now. But Finn Balor is back in the possession of the game. He's playing the game. So Finn Balor is having the upper hand against AJ Styles right now in this match and AJ Styles so far this match has been like 50-50 kinda because you never know when AJ Styles is gonna pop up if Finn Balor is in the possession but and you also never know when Finn Balor is gonna back up uh, come back make a comeback when um, AJ Styles would be controlling the match. Hey, look at that. That's what I was talking about. Major reverse to but no use. Enziguri by Finn Balor. Oh my goodness. That was so good. He just starts with major reverse to it was good. Beautiful. Like he was just he was uh, looking for a back super, suplex. Uh, Finn Balor was looking for a back suplex and H Styles reversed it. It was a major reversal, but then Finn Balor came from behind and then Enziguri because it was like he already knew what was gonna happen. AJ Styles just now came into possession for like a little bit of time, just for like five seconds. And now Finn Balor is back in the game. So I like the games. I like the matches where you, where you know there are there are a lot of comebacks. Exactly like this. Oh my goodness, that was so good. AJ Styles. Oh my God, that was beautiful, beautiful. I mean, Balor was going for the move, and then AJ Styles did with a nice drop kick. Right on the back, and now AJ Styles is having the complete control over the match. Let's see if he's gonna go on to win this. That's a big point. That's a big main point. Let's see what's gonna happen. Balor is back, and he's throwing AJ Styles to some corner. And okay, what was that? Oh, I know, I know that. That's so good. So Finn Balor mainly attacks on like a torso of a person. That's what he um, like the middle body. So I think it's pretty good. It's a pretty good move. So um, 
not like the middle yeah it's the middle body he either works on like the uh, shoulders or um, the torso he doesn't work much I don't think he does um, let me see his signatures if he does no it's all it's all about yeah it's all about torso attacking the back or your gut so let me see AJ Styles oh, let me see his again DDT. Let me do the second signature. Okay. Okay. Batter's on his signature right now. He can do anything. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Is he going for that? Is he going for that? Oh yes. Hell yeah. He is going for that. It's damn true. Styles. Oh my goodness. Styles. Is almost gone in this match and Balor has the possession. Balor has even hit him by the signature. It's just no. Okay, he's he's going on top. Balor is on top. Top of this rope. Top rope. Connected. Oh my goodness. AJ Styles said no, 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 no. AJ Styles' help is like complete down. Two and three. Oh, 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 oh. There is. Freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. Oh my goodness. Did you notice that? AJ Styles' health was down. Was completely down. Almost completely down. It was just a little bit left, but it doesn't really matter because. And then, he, you know, Finn Balor, after hitting his finisher, AJ Styles' health was like completely down. Then uh, AJ Styles. Oh, I'm sorry. Finn Balor went. For a pin, one, two, and just a nick of the time. He starts kicked out, kicked out a fit. It was so good, freaking awesome. That's what I'm talking about. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Nothing good is gonna happen out here on the floor. Why so? Why am I being so uh, so quiet today? I don't know. Why does Finn Balor have that chair inside the ring? What is he thinking of right now? What is he thinking of? And referee removing that chair because it was a no disqualification. I mean, sorry, it wasn't a no disqualification match. Disqualification was there, and it was, it was also a non-title match. So I don't know what Finn Balor was thinking about it. Even if it would have been a title match, he could have lost the match due to disqualification. So it doesn't really matter. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hit of weakness in the other. Well, that's a strategy you have to. Finn Balor's on his comeback. He's on his comeback. What are you thinking right now? Ooh. Oh no. Wait. Oh yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, he's not on his comeback now. Not anymore. But he's still. <laughs> <laughs> on top of his game right now, he's still like beating me, booping my, uh, I mean, um, booping AJ Styles' butt, not mine, AJ Styles' butt, and he's up on it, signature, I think it's his signature, was it, yeah, it was, ah, uh, another big trouble for AJ Styles as Balor is back on top of the rope, he's on top rope, connected once again, let me see if AJ Styles kicks out, of, kicks out of it once again. One, two, three. Oh, shoot. So Finn Balor won twice. He defeated AJ Styles for the second consecutive time. And AJ Styles needs, needs to be damn ready for the match for Hell in a Cell. He, need, he needs to prepare a lot for that. He needs to do a lot of homework if he wants to win. If he wants to retain his championship, let me see. Will he do it? Let us all see. In fact, let us all see if he can pull the win off. If he can pull it off. But so far, it doesn't really look like he's gonna do it. Cause, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, it doesn't look like he's gonna. He can do it. I mean, second consecutive loss to the same superstar. It's gonna be pretty difficult for AJ Styles, I can say, but it's not impossible because these matches were one on one matches. And the type of matches that both of them are gonna play 
for the championship at Hell in a Cell is a Hell in a Cell match. So you never know what can happen. Hell in a Cell is a completely different, different environment. It is. Believe me, so they're like a whole cell structure surrounding you and you got, you, it's a no disqualification match and it, everyone knows, we all know how much AJ Styles can be dangerous if he has a weapon in his hand and if he has like these cell structures around him. If you don't, watch the next episode, you should. Finn Balor is on top of the ladder and, and, and. Oh my god. Next week. Okay, let's see what happened next week. Let's see what happened next week. Uh-huh. Raw. Shane O'Mac coming back next week. I don't hope, I don't wish he does that again. I don't wish. Okay. We are here for today for a contract signing between AJ Styles and Finn Balor for their upcoming match at Hell in a Cell for the Intercontinental Championship. However, I would like to tell all of you that both of them cannot assault each other during a contract signing. If AJ Styles attacks Finn Balor, his championship would be taken away from him. And if Finn Balor attacks AJ Styles, he would lose his championship match. However, they can both have a verbal communication. Any means of verbal communication, but that does not include any big kind of swear word. Because that's not even in, in the policy of WWE. And the first to come out in the ring for the contract signing is the challenger Finn Balor. Defeated AJ Styles twice in a row. But can he do it at Hell in a Cell? Because Hell in a Cell is, is, is a completely different match. It's not like one on one matches. Where Finn Balor, we, you, we can all see that Finn Balor has the advantages, advantages against AJ Styles when it comes to one on one matches. But does he have the same advantage against AJ Styles when it comes to the hell in a cell matches? Of course, he's the demon. He is the demon. But AJ Styles has been in a, in a hell in a cell match more times than Finn Balor himself has been in those kind of matches. Can the demon really pull off a win against the one? who has been to his home more times than he has been himself. AJ Styles, you can, you can, you can, we can also say that AJ Styles is a resident of hell. While Finn Balor, he does not look like compared to AJ Styles. Hell in a cell. Let's see, Finn Balor, does he want to say something? He does. I do not think we need to have this match. I have been proving this for the past two weeks by defeating him. And on Sunday, he doesn't stand a chance because we, he, I'm sorry, he will meet the demon. And that too, inside hell. Sure. AJ Styles is coming up now. He's phenomenal. I am phenomenal. He is. AJ Styles are just too phenomenal but for the past two weeks, it doesn't look like, and this is the last week they're gonna uh, sign a contract which would state that both of them are gonna face each other at Hell in a Cell for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Wait, you're probably right. You have defeated me twice, but that won't happen on Sunday because you're the demon who has never entered Hell, but I have always come out of it. <clears throat> I have the experience. You might be the demon, but I'm the one who lives at your place. I know that Finn Balor hasn't even, even been to hell. Okay, I have a favor to ask of you, and please convey this message to the demon. On Sunday, I'll be waiting for him inside hell. I have another message to convey to the whole WWE universe and to the entire roster. I would like to tell everyone that no one is gonna defeat me for this Championship for this intercontinental title. They signed the contract That's good That is good. Okay, so guys guys that So guys that was it. That's all I got for you in this episode and please watch out for the next episode 
I'm on summer vacations right now. I got a lot of plans, so don't worry. Now I'm gonna upload like more times a week, like five videos a week. I can do that. I can. So let's just do that. So this is it. Thank you for watching. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at Tanesh Singh 13. Make sure to follow me on Instagram too. Same underscore Tanesh. I'm not gonna make that same mistake which I did uh, in the previous video. And make sure to follow me. Bruh. Bruh. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. <laughs> okay, so if you like this video, please leave a like. Appreciate it. I'll be really grateful. Obliged to you. Grateful and obliged to you. And if you need, if you are new to this channel and you like my content, then just visit my channel and have a look at what I got for you, all of you guys. Um, how many video videos you have? I'm like more than 210 videos right now. So just go through all over them. And if you like the channel, please subscribe to the channel. And for now, I'm off. Thank you.